Hello guys and welcome back to episode 8 of our My Player Career Mode here on EAFC 24. Big episode today, it's our second since our move to Burnley and as you can see by the league table, it's not been the greatest of starts. We're still without a win in the Premier League, we sit just above the relegation zone in 16th place. We're going to crack on with a lot of games today so we're going to hope for a good run of form. Individually we've started this season off alright, 3 goals and 2 assists in our first seven games i'd say we've had a pretty good start we just need the team to start stringing a couple of wins together so with lots of games today let's jump straight into it it's a nice one to ease ourselves in against preston in the carabao cup third round so we've actually got a pretty weak team out there for this one um which isn't the end of the world because it is only the carabao cup but it does concern me that Vinny keeps selecting weaker teams in the league and um, obviously that seems to have been an issue with player career mode over the last couple of years that for some reason, and, and career mode just in general when you're playing against the AI, they always just seem to select much lower rated players than they should be. So yeah, it, it's frustrating. I wish there was something we could do about it, but EA just don't really seem to care about career mode, which is a shame. But regardless, let's get out there, hopefully get through to the fourth round of the cup as it is a nice little distraction from the league. Angel flicks it on to me. It's a brilliant little prodded through ball. And I'm in behind and I've got the finish as well. Fourth goal of the season since my transfer to Burnley. It's been a pretty good start. And it was a nice little link up for that goal as well between myself and Angel Gomez. And we, we have played some nice football, the two of us, this season. So, yeah, our little uh, our bromance continues with, uh, with Angel Gomez. Lovely build up this. Oh, and maybe one pass too many. We have played some good football at the start of this campaign with Burnley. As I mentioned in the intro, just haven't been able to convert that good football into winning performances. Still yet to pick up a league victory. Oh, good knock down the line. Yeah, we'll have that lovely little turn inside. And I've got the pace to get away. Up against Cooper. Lovely bit of skill. Knocked it off for Masengo. This will be a great assist, but he couldn't finish. This game is most certainly not done yet, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to grab a second goal before requesting the sub. Can we get it here? Angel Gomez, good ball into my feet. And I've got a runner, and it's back to me. It's lovely build-up, and there is the second. Could stay on for the hat-trick, but I think that'll do it. Going to request the sub, and we should be able to see it out from here in the final 20. Very uh, dominant display that against Preston. We'll sim through and find out who it is we will face in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup before we face Leicester here. We'll be taking on Nottingham Forest away. Of course, a fixture we've already played this year. It was a 1-1 draw. So, yeah, in the final, is that the last 16, I believe, of the Carabao Cup? It will be Forest at the City ground. So, on to the next game here and back to matters in the Premier League. And back at Turf Moor as well, where we take on Leicester City. Newly promoted, of course, for this second season of the career mode. And uh, this, this is a great opportunity for our first league win of the season here. Let's make sure we get it, boys. Nice, oh, nice build-up on. Redmond couldn't get away. That was a good opportunity early doors there. Go on, squeeze that. Go on, lads, squeeze up. Hermanson doesn't want it there. Go on, Nathan. Oh, go on. Oh, <laughs> Hermanson off his line. Oh, that would have been a brilliant goal early doors. I'll win that. Go on, Angel. Oh, dangerous ball in behind. Cannon's on to it. And Cannon's in behind and scores for Leicester. And the, the young goalkeeper, Franchi, beating at his near post. I, I don't know why he's playing in goal. He's like 65 overall or something. This is so frustrating that Vinny's not picking a full-strength team. We trail again in the Premier League. Redmond, good ball round the corner. And Angel lets it run. And can you send me through? No, release it, Angel. Now can you release me? Oh, it's a good foot in. Oh, and I've stayed down. Not another injury. Not another injury. We, we suffered one in our first season at Crawley. And, yeah, I'm not getting back to my feet here. This could be a, a, a couple of months out. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not getting up from that. Oh, that is gutting. We'll simulate to the end of the game. 
and we did end up losing it 1-0. That's so frustrating. The wait for a Premier League win goes on, and now I'm going to be sidelined. How long is that going to keep me out for? Oh, no. It's a bad one, guys. It's an ACL. We're going to be out for five months. We're going to miss pretty much the whole of the season that is gutting man an acl i mean i guess i'll just sim through and i'll i'll see where we are in five months time I, I might make it back for the end of the season but oh man that is that is gutting five months on the sidelines all right then guys so i've simmed all the way through we're back in three days time i just want to quickly sort of recap what's gone on so obviously we went down in the leicester game on saturday the 5th we did pick up our first win of the season against west brom away at the hawthorns and uh, and we we went back to back after beating bournemouth as well so good to get our first wins on the season we then went on a pretty poor run crashed out of the carabao cup uh losing to nottingham forest on midweek had a really tough run of fixtures good point against united and then losses to chelsea arsenal and aston villa probably as expected and in poor form we then went on to lose against fulham uh, Southampton and Palace in the month of December but we did pick up a point against Everton and did beat West Ham as well another really really tricky run of fixtures here lost to Man City uh, Liverpool got a draw with Chelsea in the cup and then went on to actually win the replay at Stamford Bridge so through to the fourth round of the FA Cup uh, got a point against Brighton um, before heading into January we beat uh, Middlesbrough so through to the fifth round of the cup uh, good points against Arsenal and Chelsea and then a loss to Manchester City as expected and then a draw against West Brom at home in the league so we're at the end of February um, I, I'm expecting to be back at some point in March and then I mean we've not really got very long left it feels like we've just moved to Burnley and the season's nearly bloody over so where does that currently leave us i think we're in a pretty precarious position yeah currently sat in the bottom three not really where i want us to be at the moment just the three wins on the board so it's my job to try and get myself back up to fitness back in the team and steer us clear of relegation this season another really disappointing loss in the league as we just traveled to uh, the king power to take on leicester and similarly to that game that i just got injured in uh, we fell to a 1-0 defeat so i mean brighton and bournemouth just a couple of points above us in the league but beyond that there's a big gap to crystal palace so so with just 12 games left to play, I'm coming back at the right time. And it does look like I'm going to be back in the match day squad for this next game, which is Aston Villa in the cup. Nice way to ease myself back into things. So here we go. It's time for my return coming off the bench for the final seven minutes here. Dangerous corner. Keepers lost it. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. Tielemans are oh, danger. Diaby, what a block. Iglesias, big save again and turned in. And it looks like I'm going to have the opposite impact and we might fall to a late defeat. That should be won by Masengo in the middle and it is now. Can we get the ball forward? Masengo. Ball into my feet. Go make that run. Make that run. And hit it. Oh, it's a brilliant equaliser. I'm not sure who it is who finished it off, but Burnley find a leveller late on here at Villa Park, and we could be heading for another cup replay. Assist on my return back to the team. No, I tell a lie. <laughs> it's extra time. Shows what I know. Why did I think we were going to a replay? Are they scrapped after certain rounds? Because we we faced Chelsea in the in the third round and. And that went to a replay, but this is going to extra time. I have n absolutely no clue, but looks as if we're playing an extra half an hour here and we could be in. What an opportunity. Eye to eye with Martinez and I found the back of the net. The perfect return, assisted the first and now scored the second. Villa coming forward, last attack of the game here as they look to find an equaliser, Dendonka. Tielemans back to Dendonka where's that whistle ref there it is massive victory through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and what an impact off the bench 
coming on with a few minutes to play we went a goal down but I assisted the equaliser and scored the win I need to carry that form into the league now so we'll just simulate through to this West Ham game and we'll find out who it is we will face in the uh, quarterfinals Man City, Arsenal and Spurs the teams to avoid and we'll be taking on Leeds United away at Ellen Road. Okay, we avoided the big boys. Oh, Spurs aren't in it. I thought I saw Spurs. They lost to Sunderland. Wow. So Manchester City and Arsenal, the favourites, both have uh, favourable-ish ties, especially Man City away at Loftus Road, but a great chance to make it to the final four. So coming off the bench here again... Uh, still working my way back to fitness and uh, it's for Vout Veghorst who we come on for and uh, on the on the other side for uh, West Ham another young English striker Divin Mubama coming on for Danny Ings so it looks as if they're potentially looking for a number nine a potential destination for us next year if we are to move on from Burnley I think especially if we go down this year there'll be a lot of clubs looking to uh, potentially, oh, there's an offside in there. Looking to potentially uh, acquire me in this summer summer window because I'm way too good to be playing in the second division. But that that uh, that injury really really affected me this season. Missed so much football. Here is Mubama. The ball into Pereira. Flicked around the corner for Paqueta, and again. We fall behind instantly after coming on. Corner for Burnley. We're uh, we're starting to get going now. Looking for that equalising goal. I've made my run to the near. Oh, it's off the woodwork. I don't believe it. My trademark little run to the near post. But this time it comes off the upright. Go on, get round me. Go on. Peg it back. Peg it back. Chance. Goal. Last minute equaliser again. Oh man, we've nicked a point at the death. And that could be crucial for us come the end of the season. Worked it inside well. I'm not sure who it was who laid it off to me and I just I panicked a little bit but hit it across Areola. And with practically the last kick of the game, I have done it again and made an impact off the bench. Yeah, the last kick, and we've nicked a, a vital point here at Turf Moor. Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park here, coming off the bench once again as I work myself back up to fitness. Game's tied at 0-0. I'm hoping... Oh, don't you dare. I was going to say, I hope we don't go a goal down like we have in the last two where I've come off the bench, and it nearly happened straight away. If we can get into the lead this time, that would be lovely, as every game I come on, we seem to go a goal behind. Looking to come forward here to make something happen, and I've run into trouble. And another good ball inside. Move it left. All right, well played. Now have it left. Now, deliver. Robinson, great ball. Oh, what a save, Dean Henderson. Oh, that is an outrageous save from the Englishman. And just made the run into that little gap. Diving header would have been a brilliant goal. Anderson, good ball. Oh, he's flicked around the corner. Oh, and Palace have won it. I said there would be a late winner. And it's Reese Nelson who comes up with the late goal. Fires past Murich, and that's going to be heartbreak for the Burnley fans. Oh wow, look at this guys. I've had my first England call up. Gareth Southgate, despite the injury that I've had, has, uh, he's called me up for some international friendlies. We'll face Croatia and Northern Ireland. I'd love to get on at some point and make my England debut today. After the heartbreak of that injury, I'd love to have a little positive. So it's still only fit enough for the bench. Coming on here to replace uh, Vout Veghorst. Oh, Murich lost that. Oh, squeaky bum time. Jesus Christ, boys. <laughs> Fucking hell, what an introduction. Yeah, coming on to replace Murich. Go on, have that back. Great little win. Uh, to replace Murich, to replace Veghorst. And it's the uh, FA Cup quarterfinals. Give it back to me. Lovely. Oh, what a brilliant goal that is. That is a class goal. 
Angel Gomez involved. Give him the little little Gareth Bale love heart. That was a brilliant little goal on the counter. What an introduction again. This is beautiful. Little reverse ball by Gomez. And then the first time strike. And we could be on our way to a cup semi-final here. This has been a brilliant run from Burnley. Considering we're 19th in the Premier League. As we combined for that earlier goal. This is nice football from Burnley. And dink it into the middle for me. Should be two, and it is. And that could see us book our place in the final four. As long as we avoid Man City and Arsenal, every chance we could make it to the FA Cup final. I can't remember who the other quarter final was. I'm trying to rack my brain. Sunderland got through, didn't they? So must have been Sunderland against somebody, but I don't know who. Greenwood into Bamford, and now Mark Rocker. The ball into Greenwood again and Greenwood tries his luck and it's a brilliant strike and leads back into it game not over yet Sam Greenwood pulls one back for the hosts and Leeds really pushing for that equaliser Perot, good block oh that's a terrible giveaway what are you doing there oh that is shocking and Leeds have found their goal I think he's trying to pass it to me I've not actually called for it but whoever the defender is there, that, is, that pass is never on. And Leeds were never going to miss once they got into that position. All of my hard work off the bench to give us a two-goal lead. Completely out of the window now. Connor, got to be forward now, boys. It's got to be forward now. Gomez. Oh, great chance. Finish that. Yes! A late winner for Burnley. I'm not even sure who that is who's finished it off, but he's run into Vinny Company. It's Edison who was signed in the summer. That is a big goal after the bottle job to let Leeds back into it. Gomez did well. I took both of the defenders with me, which opened it up for Edison. And he drove it home past Carl Darlow. Massive goal into the semi-finals. Come on, you Clarets. Well, Southampton and Manchester City winning there. We know that Arsenal uh, took on West Ham in the other quarterfinal tie, so it hasn't been played yet. The Saints, Burnley and Man City confirmed semi-finalists. And as we take a look who it is that we will face... Oh, get in! Fucking love that. Southampton in the semi-finals, which means that Arsenal face City... And we have a brilliant chance to make it to an FA Cup final. Southampton not having a great season themselves, sit just above us in the Premier League. That is a brilliant opportunity. We'll have to play that today. The proud moment here as I'm coming on for my England debut. It is a much rotated England side. But nonetheless, a pretty special moment here coming on at Wembley to make my debut. We're 2-0 up at the moment. I've got half an hour to make my mark on the game. And I've done well there to keep that ball in play. Lovely football. Oh, this would be a brilliant, brilliant start to my debut. Oh, and I... Oh! Surely there's no way I'm claiming that one. I mean, there's just absolutely no no way that that is my goal the first shot was on target the keeper spills it and then the defender just runs it in surely that's going to go down as an own goal yeah own goal by Yedvi but involved in the build-up and I love the celebration as well as, as, as if it's my goal on my debut well that'll do it my England debut we didn't quite get on the score sheet, but we were involved in the third goal. You love to see it. Lovely to get the uh, the embrace of Wembley as an England player. It was a much-changed team, but a good 3-0 victory for the three Lions. We've got Jude one side and Willock to my left. It's a brilliant ball. Joe Willock should have scored and Rashford will. Won't be credited with the assist, but involved in the play again. Dinks it in to me. I've brought it down. Chance for my first England goal denied and Tammy puts it in. I'm desperate for that goal. 3-0. Tammy on the score sheet. Again, not going to be credited with the assist. And that should do it. Still no goal involvements for England. But what a little cameo 
of 10 minutes off the bench from me there. Involved in the two late goals for Rashford and Abraham. And good to know that I'm in Gareth Southgate's squad, hopefully for the next major tournament. Lots of competition ahead of me as well. So back into the starting lineup today. I think this is only my second or third start of the episode. Obviously, with that injury, I've been kind of nursing myself back to fitness. Big game here against Forest at home, which is probably one of the games we should be looking at and saying we're going to need a win out of it. But Gibbs White, oh, great chance, and it's off the post. So 0-0 at the break. Really, really poor half of football so far. I, every time I've got on the ball, I've given it away. I'm, I'm an impact sub player. I can't, I can't play a full 90. I've been really, really poor. Need to sort this out in the second half. Sangare pressure still on. Oh, you've not given that as a foul ref. Jesus Christ. Dangerous position here. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. Ibrahima Sangare. It was never a foul. And he stuck it in the top bins. Massive goal for Forrest. And again, Burnley, we just, we just can't find that winning formula at the moment. Forrest on the break for a second here with Toffolo storming down the left. Not got much to aim for in the middle. Oh, he's picked out his man, Plojek. Oh, what a block that is. Went all the way back with my man and kept us in it at 1-0. But, yeah, we, ha we haven't looked like scoring today. We've been really disappointing. And there's the whistle. And we've fallen to defeat again and we're running out of games to save ourselves in the Premier League. Just as in the Sheffield United save, we are in a proper relegation battle here. Right, another massive game here. It's a nighttime kickoff as we face Fulham in a, in a horrible, horrible pink kit here. This is a great opportunity for three points here that would be absolutely vital for us. We're desperate to pick up a win in the league. Masengo, Ruiz, can you send me through? Brilliant. Onto the right peg, and there's the finish. Massive goal for Burnley. Salute those home fans. That is a big goal. Now can we go on and hold on for the three points? Still a long way to go. But having gone a goal up, we have been pretty decent defensively. Only my fifth in the league this year, plagued with injury. But that could be a massive one. Burahashi looking to get on the turn. Good for in. And we, 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 our shape's been pretty good defensively. We haven't looked like we're going to be pulled out of position. Oh, that's a lovely bit of skill. I've just absolutely sent my man and then played the worst pass of my career. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Vitinho calling for it on the edge. I'm going to hit one and it's wide. There's the whistle. One up at the break. And we've looked pretty comfortable since that goal. We just need to hold out and pick up a massive three points at Turf Moor. Ruiz, good ball. Come in field. Gomez. Edison oh, off the crossbar. Post or crossbar. I'm not sure which one it was. Brilliant strike from him. And so nearly doubled our lead. That probably would have been enough to see out the three points. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is a cruncher. Burahashi, Fulham happy to play on. And there's the equaliser. And we knew it was coming, man. We knew it was coming. We just cannot pick up three points to save our lives at the moment. Lovely little build-up. Furuhashi with the back heel sold both of our centre-backs. And now we need to find another if we're to win. Free kick for us here. Played short. Berger. Good ball round the corner. Oh, I've sent my man. Oh, it's a brilliant strike to beat Bernd Leno. A lovely bit of skill. And my man got sent for a hot dog and Burnley lead again. Now that is worth another look. Berger does well. Oh, it's a lovely little step inside. Had two men around me. And then just fired it in at that near post past Burnt Leno. And now with just over 15 to play, I think. Yeah, 15 on the clock. Can we see it out this time? And with two minutes on the clock, that might just be enough. I'm hoofing it into the corner. Leno claims, but where is that whistle ref? There it is. 
Massive three points, a brace for myself. And that might just move us out of the bottom three. I'm not sure if it's enough to move us out, but it definitely could move us on level points with Southampton. That is a huge win. Well, guys, as you can see, that win does now move us above both Bournemouth and Brighton, who drop into the bottom three. We're two points behind Southampton and then a massive 11 points behind Leicester in 15th. So it's a big, big gap to the teams above us. I think that is where we're going to leave it for today's video. It's been a bit of an odd one with the injury right at the start, but we have still had an impact today, scoring some important goals. And as I say, we have now moved out of the bottom three. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of the player career mode. We also made our England debut, which is always a very proud moment. We'll be back in the next one to finish the season with Burnley. We've got that big FA Cup semi-final against Southampton and then potentially a shot at our first major honour if we can make it through the Saints where we will face either Arsenal or Man City in the final. All to come in the next episode. I look forward to seeing you there and I'll catch you for it very soon, guys. Peace.